Hey guys, Rich here. Um, I'm riding through Brooklyn Heights uh, in New York City on uh, Thursday night, about 10 o'clock. Uh, I was actually heading to the Brooklyn Bridge and then realized that it's closed um, at this hour for uh, construction work inbound to Manhattan. So I'm going down to the, the uh, Brooklyn Battery Tunnel. <coughs> and uh, I'll talk to you a little on the way. Um, the big uh, bike-related excitement today is that uh, I installed these uh, uh, electrical outlets on the handlebar. Um, they're USB uh, outlets, so I can plug in the camera or an iPhone or things like that and uh, charge them while I ride, <coughs> which is uh, very convenient because I'm constantly, especially the camera, running the camera down on long rides. Uh, I bought the power pack. Um, for the camera, so that makes it possible to, uh, you know, <coughs> run uh, right off the power pack, allegedly for up to 20 hours, but I'd like to be able to uh, draw power directly off the bike. So there's a 2 amp and a 1 amp outlet, uh, which in theory will, will charge anything, even an iPad. Um, I haven't tested that, but it charges my uh, iPhone uh, just fine, so... Um, it was kind of an adventure, uh, tinkering, tinkering with the battery. I was a little afraid of getting electrocuted and uh, talked to some of the people uh, I know uh, who know about bikes, both on the Royal Enfield Forum and um, a couple of my friends, and the consensus was, you're not going to electrocute yourself with 12 volts, 12 volts uh, DC, so you don't have to worry about that but you can short things out if you connect stuff up in the wrong order and so forth. So <clears throat> I was a little wary, um, but it, it turned out that, um, you know, getting the uh, electrical part of it worked out uh, was not the problem. The problem was running the damn wiring um, under the, uh, you know, under the seat and under the gas tank uh, without leading it past or uh, resting it on things that are likely to be uh, really hot and melt it and uh, cause other sorts of problems. So there's a fuse in the circuit, so, you know, there's that as a safety, but I still i am a little nervous about it, <coughs> and I want to make sure I do it right. Uh, aside from running the wiring, I discovered that my negative battery uh, uh, post uh, is uh, not fully functional, so the the negative wire isn't uh, formally affixed to the post. It's just sort of um, leaning up against it and held in by the friction of the way the bike is uh, the battery is seated on the frame. Uh, obviously, it <coughs> it works because you know I've ridden the bike almost 2,000 miles without incident, and I don't think this is a new problem. I think it shipped that way. Um, but uh, it's still kind of uh, concerning. Let me go past this plate carefully. Um, still kind of concerning. So I'll probably jury rig something with a a uh, <coughs> bolt and a nut um, to uh, to hold it together. Um, so that's the. That's the electrical work of the day. <coughs> other, uh, I don't think there's any other uh, really interesting bike-related news. Um, I've started meeting more people in the garage, and uh, everybody seems to love this uh, Indian bike. And a lot of people have stories about them, not just Indian people, but other people. So I'm, I definitely picked a, an emotionally meaningful one. I actually looked at an apartment right down here, we're at Henry and DeGraw, and right around the corner, I think on the next block, if I'm not confused, <coughs> and it was a ground floor, floor through apartment, a little dark, but very spacious. Uh, the problem was the backyard faced the police station, and um, that's a little, I mean, I I'm, has, have as much respect for authority as the next guy, but that's a little closer than I want to live, um, even in New York City. 
So there's a motorcycle. <coughs> yeah, sack it. It was right down there, that apartment. <coughs> the other thing I've been um, experimenting with on the bike the last few days is uh, downshifting or being aware of the motion of downshifting and specifically uh, of the little uh, blip of throttle that you need uh, to keep the bike moving. Here I am downshifting from third to second and on the throttle to make sure that uh, the bike doesn't uh, grind to a halt. Um, so downshifting is one and the other is uh, counter steering where you know when you turn the physics of the matter are such that you are, um, you know, if you turn right, you initiate that, even if it's a lean, you initiate that lean by pushing forward on the right hand um, handlebar. And that is a bit counterintuitive, at least to some people. Um, but according to the physics of the bike, there's really no other way. And I didn't, I mean, I was aware of the logic, but wasn't thinking of counter steering is something I was consciously doing uh, and uh, after a conversation with some people who know more about this than me who said uh, take a closer look at yourself uh, and how you behave I've come to understand that in fact uh, I am uh, counter steering very much so um, even on this lightweight bike that uh, you know for a right turn the first action is a jerk uh, forward on the right handlebar there's the easy pass there we go I use this, this is the Brooklyn Battery Tunnel, also known as the Hugh Carey Tunnel. Um, I use this tunnel a lot because it's almost as convenient for me as the bridges. Um, tunnels are a lot safer, they really feel a lot safer uh, than, uh, than bridges, especially in, in uh, wet or uncertain weather or windy, windy weather. And the city has, um, well, the, the, yeah, the city has priced them to incentivize motorcycle riders to use the tunnels. We pay only uh, about half price, uh, two seventy-five, dollars for a motorcycle crossing uh, in one of these tunnels. Um, which, e even though the, the, the bridges um, within New York City are free, uh, it's still cheap enough that I'm certainly speaking for myself. I'm willing to spring for it as a matter of course, without thinking about it as an expense that I have to to worry about. Um, in other words, it's priced low enough that that I think of it as a throwaway uh, expense. Uh, and as as a result, I'm safer. Um, I'm less of a hazard to others, uh, and I have a more more comfortable uh, ride from one bar to the other. So. Thank you, Port Authority, for, uh, for making that possible. <coughs> Here we've got some, we're riding um, two, um, uh, two directions in one tunnel. Um, and here's, we've come to the point where there's some uh, work going on and we've all been stopped. <coughs> I, can, I can see the oncoming traffic. Yeah, it looks like we're, it looks like we're passing. It is a surprisingly um, smooth the way the New York City authorities keep uh, maintenance work happening uh, on both the roads and the subway, um, despite having a very heavy load uh, seven days a week. Somehow they manage to find times of day that are comparatively less busy and so forth to do this work, <coughs> which is nice. Coming to the end of the tunnel there. And we're going to come out, turn left, and <coughs> uh, go right through the Battery Park underpass and circle around.
should we? Yeah, I guess we'll, uh, I guess we'll, we'll skip the underpass and just go directly up Trinity Place and Church Street. It is more direct. <coughs> I'm going to cut this off at, um, 14 minutes, 59 seconds for YouTube, so it's possible that, um, you may not get uh, the very end of the ride, but I'm just riding it home, nothing exciting. place because I'm in the I'm in the left uh, tunnel so <coughs> we're going around <coughs> we're about to get the light here is the um is the tunnel closed these people certainly are not um oh yeah no it's not closed does, in fact, tend to, to work um, on a bike, just like on a car, and that's one of the skills they teach in uh, MSF um, uh, motorcycle training, is <coughs> not to point your eyes at the obstacle, but to point your eyes at the way, oh, the way, the way around the obstacle, uh, because that increases the chance that that's the direction the bike's uh, going to go when you, when you give it gas. Just missed the light here, it looks like. Slip here, <coughs> just cutting up to uh, Water Street. A lot of this neighborhood, <coughs> these office buildings and some of the residential ones got uh, flooded in their basements by Hurricane Sandy and um, still in the process of coming back to life. So I'll call this the end of the ride here at um, <coughs> Fulton Street and Water Street at the uh, top of the South Street Seaport. And I'll talk to you another day. <coughs>